Jason, what kind of game at the half? What, what change did you see out of your guys in that second half? Well, I think we tightened it up defensively. Um, they were driving us there in that first half. Uh, both teams probably didn't shoot the ball extremely well. And uh, we had some guys getting back into the uh, flow of things. So our rhythm was a little off in that first half. But, you know, in the second half, guys stepped up and we took care of business. You're talking about guys step up. Um, Allen Anderson, particularly one of them uh, on the offensive end. What did you see out of him? And why did you feel like he was able to be so effective? Well, I thought he was, uh, you know, taking wide open shots. He was also being aggressive, driving the ball. Uh, we understand, you know, knowing that they didn't have any shot blocking in there. So our job was to, you know, Allen to drive it or whoever had it, drive the ball, make something happen. And Allen got to the basket, but also he made some big jumpers for us, too. We got to go to Detroit, so we can keep this short. One more. Uh, Karolinko, you, you haven't had for a couple games, I think we're at 13 and 5 now with him. How much has he changed the way the team plays and just the complexion of these games? Uh, he's big. I mean, with, with, with 13 and 5, put them on the floor. And he does all the little things. If you look at his stat sheet, it's, you know, there's nothing that's really big. Uh, he rebounded the ball for us, but again, his playmaking on, on the offensive end is huge for us. He's so unselfish and he understands. You know how to find the open guy, and that helps us offensively and defensively, rebounding and being able to get his hands on balls. Allen, Allen's shown a lot recently with his shot. How, how big was that for him to come up with a stretch like that? For you think he had 17 to 21 and assisted on another there, late the third, early in the fourth? Yeah, you know he's had some great looks. Um, you know early in the season that maybe you know for everyone thinking that you know they probably should have gone down, but that just shows he's a veteran guy. He's uh, played around the world. And he continues to work at his craft, and uh, tonight we needed him, and he stepped up. Jason Darius talked about his confidence waning in the last couple of weeks, but how good is it to see him come back after an injury in the second quarter and you know kind of perform back to his level? Uh, I think Darren is, you know, every, you know, his, his energy level is high, and you can see that he's starting to get his legs underneath him. And uh, tonight, you know, 16 and 8, you know, I thought he was great. Coach, uh, keeping Garnett under 20 minutes does that bode well for him playing tomorrow? Uh, we'll see, uh, but most likely not. Anyone else? Okay, thank you. Second half, what would you guys be able to do to kind of put them away there, would you say? Well, since the beginning of the game, we've been talking about uh, bringing a lot of energy uh, because obviously, you know, we have to speed up this game because uh, they played double overtime last night. So uh, we have to kind of wear them down and uh, give them credit. You know, they play a great system, a great tempo, and uh, they present a lot of trouble for us in the, in the first half. Uh, but I think in the third and fourth quarter, we kind of turned the wheel. Team's now 13 and 5 when you play. <laughs> What do you think it is that you bring to the team that they haven't even had before? Uh, well, you know, I'm trying to be energetic uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, all I'm worried right now is just staying healthy. That's the main thing for me, you know. I'm uh, doing what I would like to say and, you know, preparing myself before the game. Uh, that's the main issue for me right now. But, and I know when I'm healthy, you know, I'm those kind of energetic players who's hustling, who's fighting for the ball and uh, try to develop for the team. But I think uh, we finally, you know, if you, if you throw down uh, throughout the last year, Season 2013, we're great. <laughs> I think I think uh, the first couple months it takes us uh, to kind of get together, you know, kind of find the connection. We, we, we talk about that, you know, it, it's it's very hard to get the connection right away. And uh, you know, finally we start clicking, we start doing the right things on the floor. Uh, even like like in the beginning, you know, we didn't do it well, but finally we figured it out, and uh, you know we. We start playing more consistent. I drag your calf. Nothing. Fine. Nothing. No feelings. <laughs> That's good. Cool. See you tomorrow. No feelings. You make it a scene. You make it a scene. You make it a scene. Right. 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 Ever since that All Star, you done changed, man. What was working for you so well offensively? Um, I started attacking. 
stopped selling with the three so much and just start attacking. And once we start doing that, it's start opening up the lane and kick outs and penetrating addition. Everything starts opening up. You know the Spurs were playing uh, missing five of their key guys, but yeah. what still made them so tough to play against, so dangerous? They move the ball so good. They've been playing with each other for a while. I mean, even the guys that don't play as much, they know their system and they've been around a lot. And um, they play good with each other. They move the ball really good and talk. You know, that's why they so successful. You, you get your guy Joe back, uh, yeah. Karolinko back. Yeah. What is it like playing with a full yeah. roster and you guys getting used to playing with a full lineup again? That's great, man. It's um, it's fun. You know, we got so many different lineups, so many different ways we can throw at other teams, and we're so versatile on the defensive end also. How long has your career been pretty well documented in terms of the sacrifices you want to make? What, what is your mindset now? What do you want going forward? Uh, I just want to win, man. I want to win it all. You know what I mean? We got the pieces. We just, uh, you know, probably starting to turn the corner, you know, a lot more lately. Um, I just want to win. You know, no matter how much I'm playing, you know, I'm, I know I'm a part of it. So, just got to be ready for whatever they need me to do. Do you think you're still underrated? Do you think you still have something to prove? Or want to prove? Uh, definitely underrated. But, like I said, that's not for me to judge. I'm just out here, you know, playing as hard as I can play. What worked specifically well in the second half tonight for you guys? Uh, we moved the ball and we started talking on defense. You know, that first first quarter, I think they came out and they they uh, they played Spurs ball. They moved the ball, they got to the open man, and they knocked down shots like they do. And then we finally, you know, start talking, start being on the cat, and start you know creating turnovers and scoring off the turnovers. What was it like you. for you with that 11 point stretch there? Put this team on your back the way you did. Thank you. Uh, I was just being aggressive. And, uh, stop settling with the three. Start trying to get in the paint, start trying to attack more, and, uh, you know, being aggressive, scoring, and you know, passing the ball as well. Where did the arm wipe down come from? Say again? The arm wipe down. Where did that come from? The what? The arm wipe down. Where did that come oh, from? Oh, that's not even a wipe down. That's like the reload. The yeah, reload. Yeah, the reload. I've been doing down. that in Toronto, man. That was just something that we always did. Uh huh. Yeah. And what weapon is that you carry? It's just, uh, what, AK got the 47, <laughs> right? So uh, we're gonna call that the uh, Glock Six L. No, that's the, I know it's a pump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you make a few in a row, well, does hey, your mindset change? A bit? Huh? When you when you make a few in a row, does your mindset change a little bit, or is each possession sort of as it would have been if you hadn't been hitting a few shots in a row and looking for your? Oh, um, it definitely changed a little bit to just keep being aggressive. But you know, you just want to make sure you just don't start taking any and every shot, you know, especially. Uh, a team like this, you know, I mean, anybody can get hot. So you just don't want to just take every shot, every time you touch the ball. You just want to make sure you're aggressive. Hey, Alan.